It was a move to make money. The city of Phoenix, battling a major budget deficit, extended the hours for parking meter operations to try and close that gap. But just how much money is the city actually putting back into the bank? Cronkite News reporter Megan Thompson went digging to find out. It was a change that wasn't too popular, making people pay up on weekends and nights. But the city council says they plan on making one to two million extra dollars off the move. And a look into the numbers reveals they may be on to something. Come in the afternoon time, like people are on their lunch break or people are getting off. It's going to be a hard time finding just a little two hour parking spot. For downtown ASU student Dominic Catronio, it can be hit or miss when it comes to snagging a spot at one of the city's parking meters. There's a two hour limit. So classes are an hour and hour 15, hour and a half. So you just do the two hours there and you're set. Back in June, Dominic in the downtown area had to start digging for a little more pocket change. Item 26, ordinance G5933. The city council approved extended hours for the meters from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., now including weekends to try and combat the city's more than $37 million budget deficit. I think I was a little angry at first. I mean, naturally so. It's something that I use often. And for council members actually voting on the change, they were well aware that it may not be a popular decision. You know, this isn't the most fun thing to talk about. There was a deficit. Very tough decisions had to be made. Vice Mayor and Councilman Daniel Valenzuela knows there are pros and cons to the parking meters. If we're able to do it in a way to not raise any fees, then sign me up. But he says this was the best change to move the city into the future. The benefit of it is it's a better product. You can use your, your credit card. You can use your smartphone to extend time. Cronkite News wanted to find out if that change was putting a dent in the deficit. After filing a public records request with the city of Phoenix, the numbers prove the city is making money back. In the first months alone, the city saw a nearly 20% jump in revenue from the previous year. And a few months later in December, they saw those numbers nearly double. The city said the goal wasn't just to raise the fee, but to actually create turnover for businesses. So cars don't just sit here for hours at a time. But for downtown business owner Brad Moore, the extended hours are like a double-edged sword. We want to encourage people to come downtown, experience downtown. And I feel like the two-hour meters are, are not really conducive. He says the turnover is great during a normal work day, but he doesn't see the need for the hours to go past 6 p.m. There's ample parking available, so I, don't, I feel like the meters shouldn't be enforced after that time. And even though consumers may not particularly like the new rate, it seems some are finally coming to terms with it. Now understanding where it's going to and that's working and people are actually, you know, kind of satisfied with it, I guess I can be too. When we compare our rates across the nation for parking meters, Phoenix is lower than many major cities. In Chicago, the range is anywhere from two bucks an hour to more than six dollars. And in San Francisco, people can pay up to five fifty per hour. Here in Phoenix, the city does plan to start using demand based pricing. It hasn't happened just yet, but that rate would max out at four dollars. Megan Thompson, Cronkite News.